Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gonna give you a quick guide on how to launch a group home business. Often, when we hear the word group home, we naturally think of a place for old people, but that's not always the case. Currently, around a million Americans, young and old, live in group homes and in senior living facilities. And that number is expected to double in the next five years. The good majority of these residents need a place to stay for at least three years or more, which means there's an opportunity for you to make a lot of money. If you wanna help some people get into a home and make some money doing it, here's how to get started. So the first step to creating a group home is to decide on your specialty. I'm sure you're not an expert in every area of caregiving and a good place to start is to decide where you can actually help. So most beginners choose to start with a business plan in an area where they've had the most experience, but that's not always required. The most popular kinds of group homes are seniors, for kids, for teens, for mental health patients, and for those battling autism. After you've chosen the kinds of patients that you want to help, you can now proceed to step two. Group homes and assisted living facilities aren't a one-size-fits-all type of business. Before you approach your potential clients, you've got a lot of work to do. Your first step towards getting a group home is to define the level of care your home will actually be offering. Do you want to assist the elderly that require constant medical attention? Or will you be restricted to teens who have serious behavioral challenges? Will you charge a one-time flat fee per month? Or will you be charging a daily rate? Also, start thinking about offering short-term and long-term contracts for your business. Once you've decided on your services and your pricing, go ahead and proceed to step three. Now, it's time to officially register your business. You won't be able to accept payments for the services until you complete this step. You're gonna to need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form an LLC or a corporation. I recommend using my corporation as I do have a variety of packages to choose from, but their most basic package will get you started right away. It's also very, very important to find out all the rules and regulations in your state that are required for you to actually operate a group home. Before you launch, you'll need to obtain all the necessary licensing and be prepared for a state inspection. So after you've chosen a name for your group home and you've registered it, you can officially open a business bank account. And it's pretty easy to open, but they won't actually get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork and the EIN number that I just spoke about. You can use a local bank that you're already using or just go ahead and choose a new one. Branding is one of the most important parts of creating a group home or an assisted living facility business because it's your brand's identity that's gonna leave a big impression on your clients. I recommend using 99designs because their process is quick and painless and you actually get what you want. For marketing materials, I do like Envato because they literally have tons of graphics for each and every single kind of business on demand. Group homes will usually need to start with a logo, some business cards, a PDF brochure, and maybe a couple other things. 99designs actually has what they call the brand identity pack that will get you started right away. So the next step is to buy web hosting. I always recommend choosing Bluehost because they're the most reliable business for any kind of startup. You also get a free domain, a free SSL, and access to 24 seven support with all of their web hosting packages. So you can't beat it. So once you pay for your plan with Bluehost, you'll get your login credentials and you'll wanna save this information and deliver it to the web designer in the next step. If you don't already know about this company called Fiverr, they sell affordable web development services and marketing services that get done really, really quick. All you wanna do is go to their website, type in what you want in the search bar, and it's gonna to reveal tons of people who are willing to get your website set up in less than three days. Once you choose the person you wanna work with, 
Go ahead and give them the Bluehost details and communicate your vision and your plans for the website. So while they're working on your new website, you're gonna go ahead and activate a merchant account so that your customers can pay you through and you can actually manage all the funds coming in and going out of the business. Many people use PayPal, Square, or Stripe. I personally like Square because they make it super easy for me to accept payments online via my website, through an invoice, through email, and even over the phone. Once you sign up for Square, give these details to the web designer to complete the integration process. So now that you actually have your brand established for the group home, your website is up, you're able to receive payments, you're able to now purchase or lease a location for your residents to live. So keep in mind, some states in the US request that your home meets a specific requirement in order to house any kind of residence. It's important to contact your state's Department of Health to ensure that you're meeting all the compliance standards. The more comfortable your group home is, the more residents you'll attract and the more profits you'll make. So many of your residents are going to arrive with serious health challenges. So you're gonna to need to buy a van or reliable vehicle that can accommodate walkers, wheelchairs, in order to transport these residents to doctor's appointments and any other kind of outing if necessary. The number of people that you'll need to hire will really, really depend on the size of your group home and the services that you decide to offer. You're gonna to need to find someone to prepare meals for the residents, manage medications, housekeeping, and transportation. It's always important to hire people who are registered nurses, CNAs, or any other kind of certified medical staff before launching your group home. Before you can accept residents, you'll also need to make sure that your business is protected against any potential lawsuits. It's important to involve a professional attorney to prepare all of your contracts and review your documents and also your policies. So now you and the resident are both informed on what to expect. Okay, so now you own a group home. You're all set up. How will you actually start making money? Here's what you're gonna need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Now it's time to start promoting your group home and admit new residents. You can start off by picking up the phone or making a visit to introduce your business to local community centers, senior centers, hospitals, and local clinics. It also won't hurt to start a lead generation campaign online or list your business in assisted living directories online. On average, you'll make anywhere from $3,500 per person per month. However, group homes that have specialized care for state-funded residents, like those on Medicaid, can get an upwards of $6,000 per person per month. So a small starter group home can easily generate $20,000 a month. Now, I know what you're probably wondering. What is the price tag on this baby? Well, startup costs for this kind of business are usually from anywhere around $10,000 to $15,000 on average. But if you're planning to buy a big group home, hire a ton of employees, house a ton of residents, spend a lot of money on marketing, be prepared to drop the big bucks. Have a look at the bottom of this video, and if you can use any of these products or services, please feel free to make a purchase. Every sale helps support this channel, and for me to keep bringing you the money-making tips. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free, and if you want it, just go to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you like this video or you know someone who needs to see this today, tag a friend, hit like, or give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.